Hi, I'm Abby and I'm going to show you how to play The Lakes by Taylor Swift. This is the last folklore tutorial. I've done all the other songs on ukulele as well if you want to learn those. And if you're one of my patrons, then you can download the lead sheet in the description to follow along with this tutorial. We also now have play-along videos on Patreon, which is really exciting. Those are videos played from the beginning to the end all the way through with the chords and the lyrics on the screen. And last of all, for those of you wondering, I'm playing the Enya Concert Uke in this video. There's info down below for that as well. Okay, so let's learn the song. So for this version, we're going to learn the song in a different key from the original, but if you want to play along with the original, you just have to put your capo on the second fret. So we have six chords all together in the song. They're all down here. If you already know them, feel free to skip ahead. Our first chord is C, and you're going to put your third finger on the third fret of the first string. Here's C. Then we have E minor. You'll put your first finger on the second fret of the first string, second finger on the third fret of the second string, and your third finger on the fourth fret of the third string. Here's E minor. Then we have D minor. You'll put your first finger on the first fret of the second string, second finger on the second fret of the fourth string, and your third finger on the second fret of the third string. Here's D minor. Then we have A minor. You'll just put your second finger on the second fret of the fourth string. Here's A minor. Then we have F. You'll put your first finger on the first fret of the second string and your second finger on the second fret of the fourth string. Here's F. And then our last chord is G. You'll put your first finger on the second fret of the third string second finger on the second fret of the first string, and your third finger on the third fret of the second string. Here's G. And those are all of the chords. For our strumming pattern, we're going to be doing down, 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 up, down, 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 up on each chord. So here's what that sounds like on C. Down, 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 up, down, 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 up. So first we're going to learn the verse. We have a four chord progression. We're going to be playing C, then E minor, then D minor, and A minor. So with the strumming pattern it sounds like this. We have C, gets played two times all together for the verse. Here's the verse with the words. we have E minor, then F, then A minor, and then E minor. Then in the second line we have E minor, F, and two bars of G. So here's the whole progression with the strumming pattern. We have E minor, then F, So now here it is with the words. Take me to the lakes where all the poets went to die. I don't belong in Babylon and neither do you. Those wonder mere peaks look like a perfect place to cry. I'm setting off, but not without my And now our last 
last section is the bridge, which has the same chord progression as the verse. It's even played two times, just like we had in the verse. So here's what it sounds like with the words. I want auroras and sad prose. I want to watch wisteria grow right over my bare feet. Cause I haven't moved in years. And I want you right here. And that's how you play The Lakes by Taylor Swift. Please smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, become a patron if you'd like to support the channel. And again, we have play along videos on there now, which is so exciting. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you again really soon. Bye.